In this part of DC circuits lecture, we will learn mesh and nodal methods of circuit analysis. We have already seen the use of KCL or KVL to find the branch currents. Mesh analysis is the method in which the KVL is used to find loop currents instead of branch currents. Let's study the mesh method with the help of an example. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. By mesh analysis, find the currents I1, I2 and I3 in the network shown below. First, we assign the names to every node of the circuit and assume the clockwise direction for the mesh currents as shown. Applying KVL to mesh 1, we get minus 8 I1 plus 20 minus 2 into I1 minus I2 minus 4 equals 0. Simplifying the equation, we get 10 I1 minus 2 I2 equals 16. Applying KVL to mesh 2 minus 2 into I2 minus I1 minus 3 into I2 minus I3 plus 25 minus 9 I2 equals 0. Simplifying, we get minus 2 I1 plus 14 I2 minus 3 I3 equals 25. Applying KVL to mesh 3, we get minus 20 minus I3 minus 3 into I3 minus I2 equals 0. Thus, we get 3 I2 minus 4 I3 equals 20. Now, we have three equations and three unknowns. Thus, by using Kramer's rule, we get the values of three currents as I1 equals 1.83 amperes, I2 equals 1.16 amperes and I3 equals minus 4.12. As I1 and I2 are positive, our assumed directions are correct, but I3 comes out to be negative. This concludes that the assumed direction for I3 is wrong and the I3 actually flows in an anti-clockwise direction. In mesh method, we have applied KVL to find the branch currents. Now, we apply KCL in nodal analysis. This method is carried out to determine the voltages of different nodes with respect to reference node. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. By node voltage method, find the current through 15 ohm resistor. We assign name to every node and assume one node where maximum branches meet as a reference node. So here, C acts as a reference node. Also, we assume the directions of the currents as shown. Applying Kirchhoff's current law, at node A, sum of incoming currents equals sum of outgoing currents. Using Ohm's law, we can write 80 minus V1 upon 20 equals V1 upon 10 plus V1 minus V2 upon 30. On solving, we get an equation with V1 and V2 as two unknowns. Applying KCL at node B, I3 equals I4 plus I5. Using Ohm's law, V1 minus V2 upon 30 equals V2 upon 50 plus V2 minus 60 upon 25. Simplifying, we get 5 V1 minus 14 V2 equals minus 360. On solving the two equations, V1 equals 28.33 volts, V2 equals 35.83 volts. Thus, using Ohm's law, we can now find the current flowing to every branch. If it comes out as positive, our assumed direction is correct. But if we get a negative value, means the current flows in the opposite of assumed direction. Thus, I3 and I5 
flow in the opposite direction whereas all other currents flow in the assumed direction only. Finally, we redraw the network with the changed directions of the currents. Let's see what we've learned in this chapter. Mesh and nodal are two methods to find branch currents in any electrical network. Mesh method uses KVL whereas nodal method uses KCL to find the branch currents.